What's up guys? So, we are back. If y'all watched the last video, you know, I kind of gave y'all a little recipe. A little simple recipe on something you can eat that you might be able to, you know, eat without having to uh, worry about. You know, because sometimes when we make our foods, our meal preps, sometimes they don't taste the best, you know what I'm saying? But this time, guys, I'm doing the same thing as y'all see. I got my ground turkey cooking. Okay. So it's the same thing as last time, except this time I'm not putting black beans in it. Instead, I got some uh, crumbled up cauliflower and some broccoli slaw. Okay. So really trying to emphasize getting these vegetables in here and some fibers at the same time. You know what I'm saying? And I went with those two combinations because it's about texture too. A lot of times when we eating our foods, it's the texture. We got good texture, you know what I'm saying? Switching it up, you know, we'll be able to get through it. So, it's all about experimentation, guys. Also got some A1 steak sauce right here. I'm going to try that out. Now, I don't know, if y'all seen some of my old videos, I used to use barbecue sauce. Okay, I used to, I used to pretty much do the same thing, except I used to use barbecue sauce. I'm going with A1 steak sauce because it's less carbs, okay? It's a little bit less carb, uh, a little bit less carb heavy than the barbecue sauce. So that's the reason I'm going with this A1 steak sauce to see how this tastes. Just to, just to play with the combination, guys. So once we finish everything up, I'm gonna bring y'all back to kind of show y'all the final product. Okay, so we just about got the ground turkey all the way cooked up. You know what I'm talking about. The main thing is making sure you get all the pink stuff out, guys. Make sure you got all the meat cooked. You know what I mean? It ain't got to be like 100% brown, dark, but you want to make sure you got all that stuff cooked out. And we are going to hold off on adding the crumbled cauliflower. And we're going to hold off on adding the broccoli slaw. We're going to add that last, okay? Now what I'm going to do is prop open this A1 steak sauce, okay? So that way, put the camera down for a minute. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and show this on camera. We just gonna add this. We're gonna mix it up anyway, guys. Okay. So this is what's gonna give us that extra flavor. Now, with our spatula, we'll go ahead and mix that around just like that. Okay. Now, if you want to, if you want to make this extra juicy, you can add some water, which I might go ahead and do. I might add a little bit of water in here just because it helps to make the the uh, ground turkey more tender. It helps to tenderize it and make it more moist. Okay. Now keep in mind this is 93.7 lean ground turkey. Okay. I usually don't go no higher and I usually don't go any lower than that. So 93.7 is usually what I like to stick with. You know what I mean? It's just that perfect combination of leanness but you still get kind of that juicy a little bit of juiciness from the fat a little flavor you know what I mean so alright so now as a matter of fact guys I don't even think I'm gonna add no water as y'all see I mean this is pretty juicy in itself now what I am gonna do is go ahead and turn off the burner okay turn off the burner and then we're gonna go ahead, matter of fact, we're gonna add the coleslaw first. I mean the broccoli slaw, slaw first. So let me set the camera down for a minute. All right. So we're just gonna dump this in here just like that. Okay. And again, with our spatula kinda 
spread it out like that. Now, don't that look lovely, guys? Don't that look lovely? <laughs> now, let me go ahead and pop open this uh, cauliflower crumbles. Set the camera down for a minute. All right, do the same thing. Boom. It kind of looked like cheese. But see, this is why I say, you know, you got the crumble and then you got the slaw. You know, that's two different uh, textures. So a lot of times we just need different textures in our meals to help us eat it. You know what I'm saying? So, ooh, we. I'm not gonna lie, y'all, this looks pretty good. And this is just something I just came up with myself, so, you know, it's all about experimentation, man. I'm going to try to keep bringing, like, different recipes. Listen, I know we like to train at the gym, get our power levels up. We trying to get these perfect bodies. We trying to really change the game, you know what I'm saying? So, that's good. But a lot of times we be slipping in this kitchen, man. We be sleeping on what foods we need to be eating. How can we eat these on a consistent basis? You know what I'm saying? Because this is an important thing. Like, if you train, you don't even gotta train as hard as you might think, okay? But if you eating good, eating the right stuff, that in itself you'll see like, man, okay? And then just imagine if you do start training hard the way you need to be training, okay? Just imagine the type of progress and the type of gains you can be making, okay? So, it's all about experimentation, guys. Now, doesn't this? Now, if you go back to my last video and look at this, now doesn't this look, look a little bit more uh, aesthetic, pleasing to the eye? This looks a little bit more appetizing, I know. But see, the last video, let's go ahead and flip the camera around. The last video, I was just trying to show y'all, let y'all know that look, you can keep it simple as that. You can keep it simple as ground turkey and beans, okay? You can keep it as simple as just ground turkey, or. You can spiff it up a little bit, add some veggies and stuff. So there's a lot of different stuff that you can do. Like, you you know, you see a lot of people with meal preps, with, with, with meal uh, plans and things of that nature, and you think things gotta be done a certain way. Nah, really, just do it to where you can eat it, okay? Do it to where you can eat it on a consistent basis. If it's something you can eat on a consistent basis, nine times out of 10, you're gonna slip up after day three, you're gonna end up slipping up, going to a barbecue spot, or going to a taco casa, going somewhere of that nature, as I used to do, okay? And it's gonna throw you off, okay? So just, just find something that is high in protein, medium to low in carbs, and low in fat, okay? And eat it consistently, okay? Now, I'm telling you, once you do that, in combination of going to the gym, training, or at home, doing bodyweight push-ups, squats, whatever it is you want to do, you'll start seeing the progress, all right? So, guys, I know, you know, I'm not posting as frequent as I would like to be posting right now. Just bear with me, because I'm trying to tell y'all, I'm, 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 it, okay, let me stop talking, man. I'm, I'm, I'm going to change the game up, but let me just stop talking, man. I got to just, actions speak louder than words. I understand. Actions speak louder than words. So, I ain't going to say too much. But until next time, guys. Oh yeah, he still got it. Get your power levels up. Ah, get your gains up. See, that's what I'm trying to tell y'all, man. Get these muscles sewing under your sleeves. You can have on a, a damn jacket and you can still see the muscles popping out. Alright. But get your power levels up, guys. Get your gains up. And guys. There's one more thing I wanted to say. Oh, yeah. I'm out.